do you think what we do, what we did yesterday is more valuable in the future? Kind of like, um, uh, like documenting the process, like thinking about, um, that Kanye documentary that came out, yeah. uh, the genius documentary. Like, do you think sometimes it's important to document the process because it's like, it, it becomes more valuable later. Like it might not be that valuable now, but later when everything's built, like, I, I know when you tell your story about how you, you know, met ET and how you went about this process. Like, I'm just thinking like, that footage, that whole process, driving here, driving there, like that would have been invaluable. I don't know if you, how much of it you documented, but I just think that whole, that whole concept is just invaluable. Oh, listen, document all you can. I wish I, I would have documented that. I, I wasn't thinking because mm. I had a whole time period of, I didn't necessarily want to be upfront. You mm. feel me? Like mm-hmm. I was so worried about building the talent and being behind the scenes that I didn't see the value of putting myself Mm. out there until later. So I regret those, those times. Right. Mm. But I do believe anybody, regardless if you are behind the scenes, regardless if you want to be the talent CEO, whatever your position is, there are people who want to see the journey. Mm. Right. And, just because we document it now doesn't mean it has to go out right now per mm. se. You have to put something out. But if you have a, a thought of, yo, know, this can build over time or I don't necessarily see the point of it right now, that's fine. Put it in a Dropbox, put it in a Google Drive, you know, put it on hard drives if you want to, you know, depend on physical situations, right, where you could hold it. But down the line as we're doing things because majority of us think our life is boring and so that's why we don't document it right but the painter who is now famous people want to see those first couple of drawings and how you did it right Mm -hmm. because you it's relatable now yo i see myself in your day one and not your day 15 years Mm -hmm. you feel me yeah. So w- we have to create those relatable pieces of content somehow, some way, whether it's in a documentary form, whether it's a content series that at a certain point you're doing four or five pieces of content that takes a look back at the journey. But the reason why we're creating relatable content, because once we reach a certain point, it almost seems we're not reachable anymore, anymore. Mm. Right. So they don't, they see where you are and you almost seem as goals instead of, Mm. yo, you can still talk to me. Mm. But this is why we create that, that relatable content of, yo, look at when I'm having a bad day. Look at for those people who work out where I don't feel like working out, where I had a bad meal for those entrepreneurs that are saying, yep. Yo, I, I, did, I didn't profit today because you know why? Because there are people who are not putting that out. Mm. The, the social media world that we live in now is more of a highlight reel. And so we appreciate the, the ups and the downs. We appreciate the stagnant situations. We, we appreciate you just being you. So when we're documenting everything that is happening, we look at, we look back at it and be like, this is where I was day 15. This is where I was when I first signed this. This is where I was when I first got my first employee. This is where, and people are like, I'm right there. I'm, I'm in, because we don't know where everybody's at in life. Mm -hmm. Like we don't know if they just started their business. They've been in five years in no profits, Full profits don't know what to do with it, you know. So, I, yeah, I say document it. It becomes valuable when you make it valuable. Mm. 